All it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest man alive to lunacy. Before my video on Tofia Chu, I had no idea who Dimension 7 Yo was. So when the first suggestion that I got on that video was to make one on him, I had no clue what I was going to be getting into. Actually, hold on, I wanna read I wanna read these comments out. You should do Dimension 7 Yo stomp dimension seven yo stomp dimension seven yo stomp <laughs> the new hyrugal video came into the mail yeah. uh, stomp yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this this is the untold story of Tron Anthony Wellborn, aka Dimension 7 Yo. Tron Wellborn was supposedly born in Charlotte, North Carolina on March 26th, 1985. Yes, 1985. Not 95. Sometime, 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 sometime. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We don't have a lot of information on his early life, but there is some guessing and speculation we can do to try to get a better understanding of what it was like. Tron's mom was a very caring woman and supposedly taught him many valuable lessons in life whilst living in Charlotte. However, there isn't much to be said about his dad. Tron likely grew up without a father figure, seeing as he hasn't made any kind of documented mention of him at all. He was almost definitely a hassle for his mom to raise without a dad in the picture, since even leaving his mid-30s, he's... energetic, to say the least. Oh, King McIntyre arrived in the mail! <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Tron is profoundly interested in music, his favorite artists being The Jesus Lizard, Nirvana, Sonic Youth, Limp Bizkit, Korn, and Eminem. Tron believes he's destined for greatness in the world of music. He's posted numerous videos of him rocking out in his living room. The real Jimi Hendrix. and others of him freestyling in his car while on break from working the graveyard shift at Trader Joe's distribution center. And I'll admit, he's pretty good whenever he isn't rapping about heinous shit. Which makes sense because he used to be in a band. Electric current flow with frequencies in a tune Make my hair stand up in the dark or we're lit soon The can look at residents, try not to lose their confidence Zombies ain't making sense Look as if it's a tenebrific spell out of hell Coming from a bloody trail, not a fairy tale Coming from the ground up, look at pale Try not to fail, evolving to look like another gang ground Tron is very open about his self-image He is clean, he has nice shoes He wears Nike, he doesn't smell, he doesn't smoke he does smoke weed, and he doesn't drink. I, I don't like Trevor. I don't like him from GTA. I'm telling you straight up. I'm not one of those people that have uh, food everywhere. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm a very neat person. Um, I dress clean. I don't have stuff everywhere. I don't, I don't smell like cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't talk like Trevor. I don't look like Trevor. I have nothing in common with Trevor. He's the best at rocking, the best at rapping, the loudest, and the best there ever will be. We aren't sure exactly when, but Tron eventually moved out of Charlotte to Daytona, Florida. The latest this could have possibly been is in 2013, since that's when he first appeared in their public arrest records. On January 5th, 2013, Tron was arrested for possession of marijuana and obstructing a police officer. He did have the charges dropped though, and only spent about 9 hours in county jail. A couple of years later, in 2017, Tron was arrested again on April 4th for attempting to evade law enforcement, but again, he only had to spend about a day and a half in Volusia Branch County Jail. However, this time he was put on probation for a year. Again though, like clockwork, on December 9th, 2019, he was arrested again for attempting to evade law enforcement. This time he was released without bond, but was responsible for appearing at his court date. 
However, it doesn't seem like that ever happened since just three months later, a pretty obscure thing happened where this relatively unknown disease started to shut down pretty much the entire planet. And it's here that things begin to get a little tricky. You see, almost everything of Tron's online presence has been wiped away and left to the sands of time. Dimension 7 Yo is one of the more obscure individuals I've covered on this channel. There are a total of three posts even making reference to him on Kiwi Farms. He has a subreddit with barely 100 members, and there are no channels which have archived more than one stream of his, from what I can find, other than a channel called John Jams, who will become more relevant later in the video. I want to point out John Jams and his channel because since without his work on Dimension 7 Yo, this video would not be nearly as concise as it is. In 2020, due to a pandemic that I'm sure you all love hearing about, most of the world was put on lockdown, stuck inside, and bored out of their minds. Several new and interesting forms of entertainment rose from this catastrophic event, such as Tiger King, raids on the Capitol building, and in this case, Dimension 7 Yo. Tron started making videos on TikTok in late 2021 when most of us were still on some pretty strict regulations. I know I was. Tron mainly posted WWE toy reviews where he would scream, run back and forth through his living room, jump and stomp, rattling the very foundation of his apartment. Merry Christmas, everyone! The Mitchin 7 Yo's here! Flash, flash, flash. Merry Christmas! <sighs> and yes, you heard that right, he lived in an apartment. And there's actually some misinformation that has been spread about this. It's pretty funny to make memes about his downstairs neighbors, however he doesn't actually have downstairs neighbors, but he does at least have one next door neighbor, who as you can probably assume, will become relevant later. Several of Tron's TikToks feature this woman who has been pretty confusing for a lot of people I've seen cover him. Some people think that this woman is his mom, grandma, or girlfriend, but she is actually none of those. This is his wife. She has never been properly named. However, there is at least someone, and maybe even a few people that do know her name. Why do you keep saying that? Honey, take your fucking headphones off. Is that you? Then why does it keep saying your name? We do know that they got together around February or March of 2021 and married in July or August of the same year. Although he was more interested in music and becoming a star, Tron did love making these videos. Tron loves his fans and everyone who watches them. His eccentric toy reviews had become a source of endless laughs and never-ending entertainment, and many people went out of their way to tell him that. What's up? Yo, what's good? What up, man? What up? What's going on, bro? Dude, I gotta, t I gotta tell you, you make me laugh so much, like gut, gut wrenching laughter. Like your channel is one of the <laughs> go-to channels. Like you are dope, dude. I gotta show you. Look, I got, I got my little collection here too. I saw you have some of these, the aliens. What was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I heck saw you yeah. Have a couple of Hell yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got the same one. You got the same one yeah. I got. Tron loved doing this, so it's no surprise that he was destroyed when served with an eviction notice, warning him that if he continued with the noise, that he would be promptly removed from his home. <laughs> Pumpkin pie! Yeah, you just got, you a, got warning. a warning. Not, Not to be loud. loud. Can't be loud for a little bit. Next time I get evicted. They're buying every car on the car lot. The loud reviews stopped, and the only person happy about this was his next door neighbor. He kept trying to make videos, but viewers told him that they just weren't the same without the yelling, screaming, stomping, jumping, and prancing around like no one's business. Luckily though, according to Tron, he talked with his landlord and he said that the notice was because they believed he was arguing with his wife. 
And after he clarified that he wasn't, the issues were resolved for the time being, I guess. And while all was going well, trouble arose in paradise. The original account that Tron was posting to, Dimension 7R, was banned from TikTok after he had reached 195,000 followers. It's not clear why he was banned, however, after seeing what happened to him later on, he probably said something on a live stream that got him banned. Nonetheless, Tron created a new account known as Dimension 7 Yo, and continued with his videos. But don't think that he just moved on from this. Inside Tron's mind, a storm of fury was beginning to brew. While Tron was still posting under the Dimension 7R account, several fan pages started reposting his videos, one of which grew to even greater heights than the rest, Dimension's Floor. This account constantly reposted Tron's videos, and eventually, after having his account banned, the fan page grew to be even larger than Tron's own TikTok page. This enraged Tron to his very core. Tron risked his livelihood to create these videos as he was put under risk of being evicted. Tron loved making people laugh, and more than anything, his fans. So yeah, if some account was becoming more successful off of my videos than I was, I'd be pretty pissed off too. Dimensions Floor is a ass whore. Eventually, the Dimension 7 Yo account would also be banned this time at 200,000 followers. And on top of that, his neighbors began to file noise complaints again, begging for the noise to stop. All of this culminated into two of the most unhinged streams I have ever seen in my life on January 22nd and 23rd of 2022. In these streams, Tron made death threats towards John Jams, the person mentioned earlier. This was because John Jams was also reposting Tron's TikTok clips, and as I said earlier, he is not a fan of this. Tron began explaining in great detail all the ways that he would kill John and his family. I'm gonna you and your bitch ass mom. And I'm gonna your sister too. Your sister's gonna be like the one off screen. I swear to God. And I'm gonna your damn girlfriend too. And so, in retaliation, he began to report Tron for violation of YouTube's TOS, and the live was swiftly removed from YouTube. Along with these death threats, Tron also said the F slur, John Jam is a f it, the N word with the hard R, I'm the real nigga, I'll pull the trigger, show you I'm bigger, you stupid nigga spouted delusions of being able to travel dimensions, among other things, and worst of all, he threatened mass shootings on his local middle school, Spruce Creek, and his place of work, Trader Joe's Distribution Center. The things that Tron said in this live stream were so obscene that it is completely impossible to play the uncensored version on YouTube and can only be found in shared drive documents from John's Twitter. I want to preface this next statement. There is never any reason to even make threats like John did in these streams. Any kind of event like he described is nothing short of horrific and tragic, and I do not agree with anything Tron said in these live streams. Tron believed that the person running the Dimensions Floor account was just a middle schooler kid and obviously had a lot of spite for him. For whatever reason, probably because of some troll, Tron believed that this kid went to Spruce Creek, which is why he made the threats. The threats on his place of work were because he was sick of working there. Tron felt like he was wasting his life away in being forced to work at Trader Joe's when he would have 400,000 followers if he never got banned. These two streams were so vulgar that I sh** you not, the next day Tron was booked into Volusia Branch County Jail where he would await trial for a little over a year. On February 6th, Tron was sentenced to two years in Florida State Prison for written threats to kill or do bodily injury. However, he had accumulated credit days for the time he served in county jail, so hypothetically, he should have been released on January 24th. However, this isn't completely clear. A user known as u slash wasabi sam exclusive made a post to the dimension 7 yo subreddit on november 4th 2023 stating that tron would be released in two days on the 6th this is completely possible as quite often people's sentences are cut short for good behavior and other things not only this though but on her tiktok account tron's wife muddied the water even further you see ever since tron went to prison people have been commenting on her tiktok videos asking where he is and when he would be returning 
In response to a few of these, she told us that Tron would be released on May 8th, that he had a court hearing on February 18th, and that he was being sent to a psych ward for 18 months. Take all of this with a grain of salt, because almost nothing that she said seems to line up with the documents from public record. Tron is almost definitely out of prison by now, but whether he is in a psych ward or a free man, we have no idea since he has yet to make a comeback to the internet. And he may never. And that is everything we know about Dimension 7 Yo. An aspiring music creator and a social media influencer pushed over the line of madness by his own jealousy and hatred for others taking his videos and gaining more off them than he did. If Tron wasn't serious about his threats on Spruce Creek and Trader Joe's, I think he would be redeemable. However, he was stone cold and looked dead serious in these threats. And I genuinely think that if he never got reported, then something very awful would have happened to those kids. On another note, I have two quick announcements before I end off this video. Some of you might know that I stream Minecraft from time to time, and some of you have asked me in these streams to open up a server. Well, that's exactly what I would like to do. Once this channel hits 10,000 subscribers, I will open up a Minecraft server for anyone who wants to join, along with a community discord. 10,000 might seem like a long while away, but with all the support you guys have been showing the channel lately, it can't possibly be that far away. Anyway, my name is Hyrugal, and I will see you next time whenever I cover Leslie Clark in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.